Hello, welcome to Soul Horizons Tarot. We are doing a love reading for the sign of Taurus. This is the short version. Okay, so um, this is a collective reading. It may not, if it, well, if it does not sound familiar, if it doesn't fit your situation, then it is not your story. Being that this is a short version, if it does resonate for you, then um, be sure to check out the extended version. It will be uploaded as well. It will have the same exact title. It will just have extended in the title, meaning we're going to clarify each of the cards that come out here and look a lot deeper into what's going on between you and the person that's most on your mind regarding love at this time. So that can be a past person, present person, or future connection. Alright, this is for the sign of Taurus. If you are a cross watcher, keep in mind the placement will not change. And um, signs and or genders, may not, or signs of the cards may not apply. Just keep uh, pay attention to the energy and characteristics of the card. Right, and also feel free to um, leave a like, share, subscribe, and or comment if this resonates. Share your story, share your experience. Alright, so we're going to get this going through you, Taurus. In love. Now. Alright, so current energy situation for Taurus, followed by their person's current energy situation. Then the, oh, dumb dumb over here. Let's go down to 38. Then the um, current mutual energy situation. So basically what's going on between you for the third. And the final is the future direction, as well as the overall on the bottom of the spread. For the sign of Taurus, please. Some of you may be dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag. Two. That was your card. And three. Again, some of you could be dealing with a fire sign. Your current energy situation is the Three of Wands. Your person's is the Five of Swords. The situation between the two of you is the Six of Wands. Seems like somebody's trying to get your attention here. But we'll see how that plays out. And then the future direction is the Hermit. So Virgo energy. We have a lot of fire here. Aries, Leo, Sag, just kind of Leo energy, and then we have Virgo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of you may be dealing with an air sign. Okay, let me check the picture, see how it looks. Hey, for once I don't have to drag that up so much. I'm getting better at not having to fix this. And then I just fixed it. Okay, so let me get a drink of water real quick and we'll start. So, starting with your current energy situation, being that this is a short read, we're going to do brief. So I'm not going to get a whole lot of details from the short. If you're wanting, oops, if you're wanting to hear more or find out more, then definitely check out the extended. So you are in the Three of Wands, so that could be a period of waiting for you. Whether you are waiting for someone or something, usually the Three of Wands comes after having done something, made a decision, made a choice, taken an action, and now you're waiting for the ships to come in. The confirmation, the validation, the yes, or the green light, or the no, <laughs> the answer to your question, 
whatever you put out into the universe or you put out into um, whether you like maybe you uh, signed up for a new class or you filled out a job application or you try to get a better position this is you waiting on the results of that now some of you could be waiting on a specific person or a specific thing or it could just be this energy of I don't want to say tension but expectation I guess some of you may be looking into the future thinking ahead thinking about a certain outcome or a certain direction you'd like to go. Okay, so it's this energy of waiting. Waiting to see what's coming in. Or waiting for something or someone to come in. Alright, so let's look at your feelings for this person at this time. That was fast. Seven of Pentacles. That did pop out, actually, in the pre-shuffle. What are your feelings? <clears throat> what are Taurus's feelings for this person at this time? Okay. Ten of Cups. Now that Seven of Pentacles did come out. I kind of didn't feel comfortable with it. I don't know why. But it may have well belonged here because you did have that three of wands. What that seven of pentacles is, is a wait and see kind of attitude. Let me feel this person out. Let me examine um, something they've said. Or let me watch their actions and see if they follow suit. Or if their words follow suit with their actions. Um, let me feel them out, basically, is what that seven of pentacles is. It's kind of biding your time, waiting to see if something is worth your time energy. But then the Ten of Cups came out for your feelings towards them, and some of you may already be in a relationship with this person, or they make you very happy, or you feel very optimistic about this person. But some of you may be kind of still holding back a little bit, because, like I said, that Seven of Pentacles did come out. But it was followed by the Ten of Cups. So, emotional fulfillment a sense of happiness, um, possibly even calm, joy, uh, peaceful harmony or bliss, something peaceful possibly, you feel a sense of peace with this person, or things just harmonize when you're around them. So let's look at of course, we'll see more. I mean, that may change in the extended because the clarifiers can completely change the story. So let's look at your, your thoughts, excuse me, your thoughts and feelings about the current situation between you. How does Taurus think and feel about what's currently going on between Taurus and their person? It could be straight up you love this person too with that Ten of Cups. Tell me about Taurus's thoughts and feelings about, okay. Oh, two, two in the reverse. I'm going to take that. Some of you may be dealing with a Leo and or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They may have strong air sign or fire sign qualities or both. Um, some of you may feel like this person isn't being... sincere in some way. I get this energy of they're not being authentic with me. Not that they're being dishonest so much as they're hiding their true selves from me. That's the energy I'm getting from that, but I want one card. Tell, okay, tell me how Taurus thinks and or feels about what's currently going on between, uh, between these two, please. How do they think and feel about what's currently going on between them? What are their thoughts and feelings when it comes to the current situation? Alright, there we go. That was one. Six of Cups. Alright, so you guys have... You know each other with that Six of Cups. Or you're starting to build, like, long-lasting um, bonds here. Things like, even if you don't... Uh, work out as a couple. This could be like a lifelong friendship. 
or someone that you could never really be angry with. You would always have happy memories surrounding this person or positive thoughts or positive memories or nostalgia or reminiscing. Some of you may be even thinking about a gift that you received from this person. Maybe they got you some flowers or, or gave you something thoughtful. Um, or you are thinking about doing that for this person. But overall good energy so far from what I'm getting. <laughs> Again, that can change and with the clarifiers. Um, so we'll see. Um, so we're going to move on to positive. Okay, so positive thoughts and feelings about not only this person, but even what's going on. So their current situation energy, uh, whoever's most on your mind, again, that can be a past, present, or future person, somebody that you haven't yet connected to, but are thinking about, someone that you know and are interested in, basically. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here. But they could be dealing with some um, conflict, some fights, some arguments, uh, a disagreement, maybe some gossip. They may be trying to remove some people or energies or situations. They're trying to remove themselves from that with that Five of Swords. Or they could be kind of in the middle of something that is, you know, it has conflict surrounding it. Okay, there could be some anger some jealousies, possibly some slander going on about them or from them, or they're kind of just in the mix of all that. We'll see what that is in the extended. But they're not, at least so far energetically, they're not in the best of moods, or they're dealing with some you know, toxic or slimy people, but possibly. We'll have to see. Maybe some accusations. Maybe they had a, or are having a confrontation. Um, that's okay. Slow down. It seems to want to tell me a lot there. <laughs> Could have something to do with their money. Confrontation, confrontation surrounding money. All right. So let's look at how they feel about you at this time. How does Taurus's person feel for them? What are their feelings for Taurus at this time, please? person's feelings towards Taurus. How do they feel for Taurus at this time, please? Mm -hmm. Why do you always insist on giving me two? Because I never know which one to take. Aye. So their feelings towards you are the tower. That's Aries, Scorpio energy, and then we also have the Eight of Cups come out. So it could have something to do with what's currently going on with them. Maybe you're in the middle of this confrontation or there's some kind of conflict surrounding you. It doesn't have to be with you, but you could be involved. Um, but regardless of that, whether that's true or not, um, their feelings towards you have taken a sudden or gone through a sudden shift. Now, what that feels like right now is that this person might be kind of cutting you off or not emotionally investing in you at this time in order to deal with whatever this tower is for them. We'll have to see what that is, but uh, the tower is usually a sudden shift, an unexpected twist, um, possibly a... Um, chaotic or turbulent or destructive upset. Something pretty significant has changed or is ending in some way. It could mean literally that their feelings for you have waned or in some way they've taken a left turn um, because we do have that Eight of Cups in which this is a card about emotionally walking away, emotionally detaching, emotionally distancing. Um, We'll have to see why that is, what happened with the tower, but 
either they're choosing to distance themselves from you or they were forced to. Sometimes the tower is forcing your hand, but it's in order to uh, shine the light on something that hasn't been taken care of and it's it's insistent. Insistence on fixing whatever the tower brought down. Okay, so we'll, we'll have to see what that is. Um, complete shift here. In which either they're walking away emotionally or they've been forced to. So let's look at their thoughts and feelings. Something has maybe completely taken their attention and they're not able to focus on you at this time. They're not able to focus on their feelings or their feelings have changed. So we'll have to see more on the extended. Let's look at how they think and feel about what's currently going on between the two of you. What is this person's... The moon in the reverse. Something that they're not wanting to face it has either been brought to light and being right underneath that tower, this could have been like a sudden epiphany. With the moon in the reverse, that's usually something being illuminated. Something that was hidden before has come to light. I don't know what that is, but whatever it was is this, this tower. It's attached to the tower. It was like um, a lightning bolt, because that's usually what's shown in, in the tower. It's a lightning bolt that started the fire and brought down the tower. And the lightning bolt is divine intervention or a twist of fate, an unexpected occurrence. Whatever that tower was for them has brought something to light. Possibly something that they had been ignoring or they didn't want to face. Again, that's another thing we'll have to see what exactly that is. It can be quite unsettling. I feel this energy of being unsettled. Or maybe even distraught. And discouraged in some way. We'll have to see. That's Cancer, but also Pisces energy there. So let's move on to what's currently going on between the two of you. Alright, we have the Six of Wands. So this looks like some type of victory or success. Maybe you're both kind of basking in each other's attention, which kind of goes against what I was seeing over here. Um, let me turn this down just a bit. Yeah, the Six of Wands is a card about receiving a lot of attention, see, receiving um, recognition, support, validation, uh, maybe being in the limelight, um, having a lot of uh, followers or people that are paying you uh, attention, paying attention to you. Um, so I'm not sure what that what that means for the two of you. It could be as simple as just enjoying the attention that you get from this person and vice versa. Feeling like a winner or maybe even winning at something. Maybe you won something and you're both benefiting from it or vice versa, but we'll have to see what that is. Tell me about the strengths of this connection or the potential strengths if you're not yet together. What are the strengths of this connection between Taurus and this person? Or how, are, how is uh, Taurus and this person strong as a couple? Okay. Nine of Pentacles. So a sense of freedom, a sense of independence, or a strong sense of independence, being able to um, have your own hobbies, have your own interests, have your own uh, social circle, lifestyle, um, but still grow as a couple, still grow as a team. Now that did try to come out in the challenge position, so I do think that there are some blockages there, 
and it might possibly have to do with what's going on in their side. There could be some some kind of obstacles in your way in both of your lives um, that are preventing this at this time. But if you could get past that hurdle or those hurdles, then you could build a very strong connection and um, you wouldn't have to worry about hmm, being smothered, I guess. You would have the freedom to express yourself in the way that you want, the freedom to grow in the way you want. Because it, it is a card about being self-reliant, being self-efficient, um, financial freedom, self-confidence. So all of that would help you, you both in the connection, or you would be able to work on those things. So let's look at the strengths and challenges of this connection between the two of you. Let's look at this, the challenges and obstacles. Did I say strengths and challenges? Challenges and obstacles. No, that is way too much. What are some of the challenges and obstacles between Taurus and this person as a couple? What are some of the strengths and challenges this couple will face? Some of the biggest challenges or obstacles of this connection between Taurus. There we go. Three of Cups. Okay. So, one or both of you could struggle with releasing a certain lifestyle where you don't have any attachments. So basically one person might like, still like the freedom of going out to bars and not coming home until 3 a.m. and not having any expectation or responsibility towards the other person's happiness, whoever that might be. There also could be a third party situation going on that's preventing the two of you to come, to come together fully. Um, I always see this card, just this one, in this particular deck as like a trust exercise. So there could be some trust issues. I say that, I don't know why I think of it, because they're all three like falling backwards, but I think about that, the trust exercise where you like, you just let go, um, you lean back and trust the person to catch you. That's, that's the energy of that card that I always get. Even though it's more of a positive card, a card of celebration. But in the challenge position, this could be somebody that likes to drink too much, or somebody that likes that kind of lifestyle, and they don't want to give it up. Whether that's drinking, or partying, or possibly seeing multiple people, or just living that kind of free, um, uninhibited life. Alright, so let's look at the future direction. That is Virgo energy with the Hermit. So it does look like a period of quiet or um, introspection, maybe, you know, maybe somebody ghosts someone here or they go uh, off the radar. Uh, it could play out in a couple different ways. Obviously this could be just someone outright ghosting or this could be like withdrawing in order to reflect, in order to seek internal or external wisdom. Um, this is the number nine, so this could go into September or start in September, but we'll have to see. It, but it does, it's, it's kind of a card of solitude. So, um, future direction looks like either quiet or solitude between the two of you. Um, let's look at the, the action that you can expect this person to make. What action can Taurus expect this person to make towards them in the future? What action is this person most likely to make towards Taurus in the future? Okay. We have Pisces. Cancer. Um, again, this more looks like silence, maybe even keeping secrets, remaining silent, 
um, being very introspective or kind of holding something back. We go from the hermit to the high priestess and it's like they're not divulging everything for some reason. Either they think it's the wisest course of action to be quiet or to withdraw. This may be them listening to their intuition. It could have something to do with this tower and the moon. Something that was found out. Something that was exposed. Something that was illuminated or came to the surface. And now that they're keeping that information to themselves. Or they are investigating it quietly without much fan, like you don't know what's going on with them, basically with that high priestess is what I'm seeing. Of course that could change in the extended, but it looks like they're remaining quiet here. Let's look at the probable outcome between you and this person, all right. Ten of Pentacles, all right. So that looks like some kind of security, maybe restored. Something solid, something reliable or dependable or long term here. Maybe they just needed some time with that hermit to the high priestess. And now with the Ten of Pentacles, this looks like something that is consistent, something that you can rely on. As an outcome, this could be, you know. Forging a, a strong family unit or regaining that security, safety, especially financial, but does not have to be. It could be, you know, a home situation, it could be a family situation, uh, a, a family business or a business, like if you guys work together or you're, you own a business together. So it looks like some kind of solid outcome. Definitely something missing here. <laughs> we go from quiet to a strong foundation and one that's kind of permanent. Like the Ten of Pentacles is legacy heritage. It's long lasting. So there's some there's definitely some hidden or missing steps. It's like um, trying to do a dot to dot but not having any of the dots filled out to which one you're supposed to go next. It's there's some key elements that are missing here that I'm not sure how it went from that to this. So it could possibly be interpreted as this comes after a time, a long time. Now what like months, days, weeks, I couldn't tell, but there's definitely like a a level missing here. It's like we went from the first floor to the 16th and it, it only went up two, two floors in that time. I don't know what happened here. And it looks like a solid outcome, but we'll definitely have to break this down and see why it went from this to this, this to this to this. And they had a pretty significant shift um, in their feelings and what's going on with them, how their think their thoughts and feelings about the situation. A lot, of, a lot is missing here. So um, let me know in the comments how if uh, if this resonated and how and or how uh, to your comfort level. Um, thank you everybody who stopped by and even if you only visited for a moment. To those that uh, watched the entirety of this, I appreciate. Uh, any, each of you respectively for any support um, yeah uh, please share like subscribe help this reach a wider audience and if you want you can check out the extended version we're gonna break all this down if not I'll talk to you guys next time